Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to paint this abandoned boat on the beach. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, from here on, I will publish three new learning videos every week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on Sunday, the reference image for the video that most viewed and commented, I will upload it on YouTube for my subscribers to download. How to subscribe? Click the subscribe button below this video. I will give you five seconds before we start the painting. You know, I use exclusively the brushes from Enjoying Art. Order yours today at enjoyingart.com brushes. Let's take a look at the horizon line. I'm going to just use a very light, a little bit blue gray color. Let's take a look at and how much we're going to leave for the sky, how much we're going to leave for the boat. And if you think the sky is very beautiful, you want to emphasize more on the sky, you can have the horizon line a little bit lower. And I probably going to do that. And that's I can lessen the space on the beach. Okay, that's good. And let's make it like a one third. All right, about this much like that. Okay, that's the horizon line. I'm going to have this all the way from the left to the right. Just focus on that. That's good. And the paper I'm using actually is a rough paper. You know, our paper uh, based on the texture. It can be rough, cold press, and hot press paper. This paper from Meaden, and you can take a look at the video description. You can see the link if you like what I use. Okay, this is good. That divided into two uh, big space. And then take a look at the shape of the boat and the way I'm going to put it. Just think about it before you. I'm also going to include this person standing over here. Uh, but the person's very small and a pretty weak shape. Okay, that's good. Like that. And maybe this much. Okay. Make up your mind. This is very important. Here we go. Right there. And down over here. That's good. And the front of the boat would be about here. Like that. This is good. So, uh, the shape of the beach is about here. Like that. Like that. And the, the bottom of the boat can be a little bit forward. Like this. Here you go. Like that. That's good. And there's the water. Like on this side. This is pretty good. Yeah, make up your mind one layer at a time. Okay, that's good. Like that. Very nice. And I'm gonna just mix it a little bit blue, maybe even a little bit green color. And I'm gonna put just a little yellow color. A little bit tiny, tiny yellow color. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna take a look at the shape of the boat. From here all the way to be here and look at the shape one thing at a time like that oh there's too much blue too much uh, yellow color so come back to a little bit more to the blue okay coming like this and if you need to use the graphite pencil to draw and it's okay go for it and this is good and coming onto this side Okay, there's another shape like that. We don't have to make these decisions right now. I uh, just putting some ideas on so you can have it have this rest. And you can just start the painting. And here you go. Like that, this is a lot more lighter. This is good. The, the shape of the boat and those lines we can decide a little bit later. Okay, this is pretty good. And, and then everything else we can decide later, right? This is very important that 
have their balance in your mind. Now let's paint into the sky. I use this fire brush now, star painting. Think about this is a lot lighter, right? And we can leave the white, or we can lift after. Okay, so I'm going to try to lift it, and then to see if it can, and then using the fire brush to lift the color out. Or uh, some people will prefer to use tissues or or other lifting materials, and it will be the same, right? Okay, so. We don't have to like、uh, wet the whole paper to star. We're just going to put a little bit lighter yellow color. You can see that little bit yellowish color, and use the light color as also the、uh, layer to wet the paper. Okay, have that like over here, a little bit light yellow. See over here. And then this is a little bit lighter, right in the middle over here. Here you go, like that. And let the color down. Here you go, like this. And I'm gonna have that a little bit lighter over here too. If you can lift the white, okay, that's good. Like that, that's just good.、Uh, looking at the object as the simple. Color shape. That's it, right? Okay, this is good. We got the yellow color. Now we're gonna gradually make it into a little more red. So now I'm gonna have a little red color down over here, and I know that after it drive and the color will become a lot lighter. So it's okay to put a little bit more color on right now. Okay. So the red would into the yellow would become orange. That's just good. I will maybe have even a little bit more yellow in here, like that. Here you go, like that. That's good. And go over the boat. That's okay. The boat actually darker. Then that's just good. And the bottom over here, we can just take it out. We don't need that much. Down over here. Okay, quickly. I'm gonna get a little bit more red onto this side. You see that? That's a little bit more red. Okay, that's pretty good. And some red coming over on this side, but also have a little bit more blue. So we're gonna have a little bit more blue color. Now take the blue color, and there's just the pleasant blue. And I'm gonna put the blue color at the bottom over here. Can you see it? And over here, like that, right on about the horizon line. That's good. And also, I'm gonna put a little blue color over here too. You can see that the integration of the little blue, and also a little bit blue over here too. Okay, just tap on it, and just get, and take a look at all the way coming down to the horizon line. Okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. Now we're gonna see how it's gonna turn out, and some lifting we probably can do over here. We need to have a little bit more red over here. Now come back over here. The colors is very very thin. Okay, not using lots of colors, so not lots of water either. Okay. Let's just have a little bit red color. I'm gonna have this from here and the left to the right. Take a look. Whoop! That's just good. Perfect. Okay, one brush stroke over. I'm gonna have this over here too. Brush over on this side. See that little bit more red over here. Brush all the way to the left side like that. That's just good. All right. Give a little bit more. Interesting dynamic. This is good, and I maybe do a little bit, little bit lifting. Okay, right over here. I'm gonna do a little lifting, and from here, brush over. Okay, and have a little bit orange color, so a little bit yellow. So the brush is 
kind of dry, okay, not really much of color. Okay, that's just very dry. Now I'm going to have this like this, just a little bit yellow over there. Brush over. That's just good. Now I will see if I need to lift up something over here. I'm going to make it a little bit softer at the bottom. And over here too, I'm going to have that a little bit softer. Uh, lead it to the uh, area of the the ocean. It's a half a little bit continuous. It's a little bit soft. Okay, like that. Have it down over here. I can have this down. Just drag the color down a little bit more. Okay, the bottom is pretty wet over here. Have it down. But don't let the water coming up to the top. Okay, very important. Okay, here we go. Otherwise, we create kind of texture. So I'm going to have this. Actually, the red. Actually, brush it down a little bit more. Like that. Brush it down a little bit. I think the red a little bit too heavy over here. Okay, get it down a little bit. That's just good. I think that's getting getting better. That's just good. Keep a little bit soft like that. And on this side, do the same thing. Make sure the horizon line is on the same level. Okay. Over here, this is good. Like that. I'm going to have this now coming over here. Do a little lifting. It's already dry already. So I'm going to do a little lifting color. And now I'm going to lift up a little bit lighter, lighter shape. So by using... Just clean the brush, okay? Clean the brush. And I'm going to do a little lifting. I'm going to have this going through over here. That's good. And seeing that, just add a little light shape over there. This is good. Right? That's pretty good. I'm going to add a little bit light shape over here too. Making sure it's already dry, right? A little bit. Uh, the changes, the value changes. is not a lot in the sky. Okay, but you can see some interesting changes by just add a little bit lighter and then it will create that uh, impression. This is pretty good. Uh, you don't have to do that, okay? But if you want to try it, go for it. I'm going to have a little bit of shape over here too. Yeah, like that. So 45 degree the brush to the paper, okay? Like that. That's pretty good. You can lift it up. Again, this paper is not the usual paper that I use. It's a rough surface. Have a lot more texture. Okay, this is good. A little bit more texture. Like that. Yeah, this is good. Maybe a little bit too early. And it's still a bit wet. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. And over here, and getting dry. This is good. And actually, I want to make this a little bit softer. So I'm going to just, this is not fully finished drying yet. So I'm going to put this wet, wash it from here down. Okay, it's just pretty risky. And but we're going to see how this paper is going to take it. Now I'm going to get a little bit yellow color. And here you go, a little bit more yellow. Right over here to rework down it. And when you do that, making sure all the way extend it into the boat. And that's okay. Now seeing this color, a little bit more subtle. That's good. I'm going to leave it to be. And then we come back to take a look at it, how it go. I'm going to take a look at, have a little bit blue on this side. Okay. Squint your eye if you don't see the big connections. So this a little bit more blue at the bottom. This is good. Like that. Soft. And coming down. And also in the water area, you can see it actually have a little bit uh, kind of light orange color. So I'm going to get a little bit red in here too. Okay. But it's a little bit lighter than this guy. Okay. A little bit subtle. Okay, that's good. On this side, a little bit more blue. We just already have a little bit more blue over here. This is pretty good. Coming down to the beach over here. Now we're going to 
put the color on the beach. Okay, I'm getting there. It's okay. Don't lose your vision. Okay, very important. I'm going to get the blue. Uh, the front over here, a lot darker. This is a big shape. Get a little bit red. Okay, get a little bit more red. And I have, actually have a little bit yellow. Tiny, tiny yellow. You can see it. Tiny, tiny, a little bit more yellow. More like a little bit green. This is good. Now we're going to do this. Right from here. This shape is very important. All the way onto this side. Like that. Oh, you may be thinking this is too dark. No, it's not really too dark. It will be fine. And this is good. Now the front over here can be a lot darker. So I'm going to have this more darker at the front here. Okay, so what color we wanted to make it more darker? Just the red and the present blue together. Okay, here we go, like that. Look at the movement of the stroke. And a little bit like that. Okay, this is good. We're gonna let it dry. I'm gonna see, add more texture after, okay. All right, pretty good right now. And we can come back, take a look at the sky. This is already dry, completely dry already. And we're gonna fix this texture. It's very easy to do that. Just use the uh, flat brush, okay? Clean the brush. Don't have much of blue into it, okay? Now I'm gonna be gently, um, just soften the texture. That's good. And remove those strong te texture. Okay, that's good. Now it could look like the texture in the sky. I'm gonna have a little bit over here too. Have a little bit tiny, couple more texture. Just be persistent, and couple more movement. And you can create that illusion. Okay, that's good. A little bit over there already, and I think that everything's good. I love the uh, the light space, and which is we left over here and this can be a little bit lighter and we can live up this space give it enough time and have fun with this and you see the water dripping down on their uh, paper and create the texture that could be some happy accident okay this is pretty good and i'm gonna have this the yellow a little bit lighter like that I go over here too Okay, that's it'll be fine. And I think it looks pretty good. I maybe need to put a little bit more blue in the sky later, but we can do that in the last adjusting. Okay, this is interesting. We're gonna keep it like that and we're gonna see how it's gonna turn out. And then before we come back to do the next round on the beach. So, all right, I think this time it's already ready at the bottom over here. We can paint it into the boat. Okay. Now we use the calligraphy brush and think about the light area of the boat over here is actually darker than the sky. So what color is that? I want you to think a little bit more about our comparison. So squint the eye, figure it out, maybe just this a little bit. Uh, maybe a little bit more yellow, okay? A little bit tiny, tiny more yellow. That's it. That's kind of, and there's a little brown color on top. I'm gonna get a little bit more red, tiny, tiny color more. And let's take a look. And this is darker than the sky. Okay, looking at that. And coming over here, that's good, like this. Okay, that's good enough. And actually here, it's still a little wet, so you can leave it alone. Okay, come back a little bit later. And, and the bottom over here, definitely is still wet. So right now, the options is quite a limit and what we can work on. And let's uh, 
take a few minutes break, and then we come back. Yeah, a few minutes it will already drive. Okay, get a coffee, and take a little short break. Now it's already drive. Now I come back to okay. Start walking onto the boat, and at the front actually have a little bit tiny tiny more green. I can see that the front over here. We still remember this is the line coming down right in the middle over here. Now take a look at the shape from here, coming this way, right? So screen your eye, compare this with this guide. Okay, that's I have a little bit more the、uh, brownish, which is you can say orange color, right? That's like this is good. On this side, everything a little bit darker. You can put that color in. That's one thing at a time. You can lift the color down over here. It will be darker, and coming a little bit orange color because it's a little bit closer to the light. Okay, it's important. Get a little bit tiny orange color coming on this side. Okay, analyze it slowly. Following. Okay, here we go. Like that. Very good. Right there, and we also paint the shape. Uh, part of the boat right here. What that's a little bit orange color. It would show the separation. Okay, that's is good. And and we're gonna paint the line. That's is a very good. Now from here, we're gonna paint a little bit darker color and. Let's finish the shape of the boat. Let's start from the shadow side. What's the color for the shadow side? And we can make it a little bit darker. Just squint your eye. You can see some blue color there. Okay, some blue color right over here, right here. Yeah, but again, this need to be sharper. So don't get into that. Says、so、we need to come back over to reform it. So coming all the way over here, just put a little mark all the way here, the middle, coming down over here. That's as good. A little bit lower. That's as good. Be gentle,、uh, and have fun. Okay, right here, the the bottom very dark. Okay, right here like that. You can have even darker. Yes,、yeah, star coming. That. Reform the idea. Good. That's good. Coming up over here like that. So that's the bottom of the boat. You can make it a little bit darker. And I'm gonna soften that a little bit up over here. Okay. That's good. Just use the water. Soft that on the other side. Okay. This is pretty good. And let's take a look. We need give a little little bit time over here. Let it dry before we come back to make it a little bit clear. Now let's take a look at the distance. Well, over here we talk about maybe get back a little bit tiny, tiny blue color. So I'm gonna take this tiny blue color and、uh, take a look. Maybe on this side, and that's it's fine over here. Okay, is that too dark? Maybe add a little bit water. So add a little water to the brush. Here you go. Now take a look from the left to the right horizon, horizontal shape like that. It's very little more. That's perfect. You see that? That's simple and perfect. A little color coming go coming through. So create a little bit more clear horizon line. So on this side, I'm just gonna have a little bit, little bit for the mountain. In the distance, but you don't have to make it that dark. Okay, you can make it a little bit farther away feeling by having the color a little bit lighter. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have this right there. See, there's a little mountain. You can change the shape of the mountain if you want to. A little bit easier coming down like that. This is good. And on this side, maybe have a little bit tree. Uh, but you don't have to make it so clear. That could be good enough. Okay, like that. Maybe a little bit tiny, tiny more different kind of color, like that. Right on the edge over here. That's good. Okay, 
and I'm going to draw a few lines on the beach and then give it a little bit more time and let the boat to drive. So I'm going to get a little bit yellow color over here. Okay, here we go. Let's see that was the color. Take a little bit blue in here. That's good. And this is a good color. A little bit more red. That's good. And if you think the green shade it looks too strong, so get a little bit red. And that's simple. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to have a, a little line over here from here all the way to this side, right? And see, hmm, maybe too dark. So I'm going to have coming over here then. I'm going to have a few line over here. Okay, this line a little bit stronger. So I'm going to have that little line from here. That's good. Like that little line over here on the beach. Okay, a little line over here. After a while, the color get lighter and lighter. Okay, here you go. Like that. And a little line over here all the way. Here we go. That's good. That's good. Now, I'm going to have here too. Oh, now it'll be the time to rework on the beach. And the color can be darker. Okay, here we go. That's just good. A little bit line over here like that. Now coming over here. Now add a little water. Okay. Come and put it down and then drag it over. That's good. A little bit line. And seeing the water movement. That's just good. Like that. Here we go. Very good. A little bit line. That's good enough. And I think this is pretty enough suggestions. Now let's come back to we work on the color. Here we're gonna have a little bit tiny tiny uh orangeness color right at the bottom. Can you see that? You have a little bit more red. You think about a little bit orange, it would be red and yellow, right? <laughs> have that a little bit red over here, and here you go. A little bit more like this, a little bit warmer color, because facing closer, facing to the light. Okay, this is good. A little bit the same color on this side too. And this is good. Now I'm going to start change to a little bit more blue. Okay, take a little bit blue color. And with a little red, okay, here you go. Coming back over here. And gradually have this second round wash and see that whatever texture that appear and you don't want, you don't have to be panic. Okay, you can always you can do another wash after. And I also going to have somewhere a little bit darker. I'm gonna have that a little bit more blue and over right here. I'm gonna have this just tap on it and have that's a little movement. Like that, we did like that. Ooh, that's pretty good. I like the the feeling, the subtle feeling, and organize. That's good. Like that, pretty nice. I'm gonna have this softly connect into the background. That's pretty nice. Okay, that's pretty good. Now give us some more time, right? And now what we're gonna do? I'm gonna come back to paint. The body of the boat and which is a lo little bit more green so i'm going to take the yellow a little bit and with the press and blue take a little press and blue and mix that color and this is good see that so basically if you want to you can only use the three primary colors to paint you don't have to use like the green color. You can mix any green you want by using this three color. Okay, here we go. Coming down over here. Okay, here you go. Like this. Okay, that's good. Maybe a little bit stronger green. So get a little bit more blue with the yellow. And also I'm gonna leave a little bit tiny. I don't want this light shape right here on the boat, line up with the uh, horizon line. So I'm going to make it a little bit 
lower and if you want to keep that and uh, maybe less strong like that this is good like keep a little bit right there and here you go pretty good i can tap on it this is also have a little bit value change from lighter to get a little bit darker down over here okay continue get a little bit more the blue color and coming over here and take a look and this is a little bit light all the way coming to it here this is good like that okay wonderful and the bottom over here and I have a little bit different color so leave a little bit light line if you can this is good that's beautiful now the color at the bottom it changed a little bit and have a little bit more red uh, it looks a little bit darker so i'm going to actually come into uh, that's too much water so i'm going to let go and put the, the brush and the tissues make it a little bit color a little bit thinner this is good get a little bit red like this make a little bit tiny tiny more red that's good okay now coming over here you see the bottom over here a lot darker now I get a little bit darker and darker right at the bottom okay again over here it's pretty wet still so be a little bit careful so seeing that there still and coming up over here now i'm going to change that a little bit different color okay here we go yes i'm going to have a little bit again a little bit green yellow and oh come back to the top over here here we go like this and mix this color coming forward right there this is good just that you can make a little bit clear that's good that's good and the same thing over here make this color a little bit lighter and connect that in that's good all right so we have the interesting color over here we can come back over here to refine this okay and now let's get this very much similar color on this shape over here but a little bit more great and this a little bit shape right here and see that and you can leave a little bit like that that's fine but it's already dry you can touch it there's no problem okay right there okay that's getting nice and the top over there i'm gonna also using the same kind of similar green but it can be a little bit darker with a little bit blue now i'm gonna paint this tiny shape right over here here you go like that okay take a look at how thick the line would be okay coming down now get a little bit lighter now just use the water let go don't use too much paint too much water that's very thin coming down so don't touch that the top okay this is fine like that and the top over there i have a little bit tiny tiny brown which is a little bit more red and yellow right just get the red and the yellow a bit tiny tiny and if it's just not that bright mix a little blue it's just simple calculation okay right here okay i have a little bit tiny brown color right on top that's good like that that's good now is the time I'd add a little bit window over here a little bit line this is good starting getting into the detail okay right here and we're going to do the overlay on to make it the rusted feeling with the uh, brown color but maybe over here we can start adding this shape down you see how i rendered the brush and there's a one brush can take care of that it's pretty simple and now i'm going to come over here to add a little bit of brown color like that that's a little bit something maybe some dirt some uh debris right here like that i'm going to have something over here too okay a few dots 
Okay, now look at the front over here. This is good. We get here also have some darker color, a few darker color, and right here like that. Okay, and if it's still a little bit soft, even better, right? This is okay. Just tap on it. Some bigger, some smaller shape like that. Pretty control. So if you want to use some uh, more dust by using the tool brush, uh, you can do that too right here. You can have a little bit more uh, spontaneous shape. Okay. Okay. This is good. Have something over here. Pretty nice. Now I'm going to come to reform this shape. Here we go. The bottom over here coming up. This is good. A little bit lighter on that by using the brush, just pushing it down. And it's pretty simple. Good. Like that. Very good. All right. Maybe this is ready to painting on the shadow side. I'm going to just think about this side is need to be darker. So I'll put a little bit darker blue color over here. I'm going to make that uh, value contrast a little bit stronger. And making this side a little bit darker. So before we put the green color, if you think the green color need to be there, yeah, we just need to add a little bit more yellow and blue into it a little bit later. I'm gonna take a look at the shape over here. So this shape in the middle, we're gonna also going to define that on the light side. Okay, that's good. Coming down a little bit more like that. It's good. All right, this is good. We can come back to do a little bit more, tiny more later. And anyway, this also include the white shape. It doesn't really showing that strong, right? So we can overlay it a little bit later as well. Yes, yeah, so and now I can see this is also a little bit tiny, tiny shape. We did not actually, I did not pay attention, but I can see that right now. Have a little bit tiny, tiny bold like that in the background. And a little bit over here too. Okay. This is good. Like that. Here we go. That's okay. The things is uh, looking fine. And on top over here, we can also spend a little time to put a little bit more, like a little bit more dust. And over here too. And a little bit line coming out. A little bit detail. I know, enjoy it, okay, don't try to rush it, okay. okay. A little bit line coming out, that's good. Yeah, some dust over here, that's good. And yeah, relax, that will be fine. And getting together, put it, the timing is very important. So, if this is already dry, it looks like already dry already. Now we're gonna define this side, it's just just put it painting on. This is a little still a little bit. Maybe we'll come back a little bit later. The top over here already drives. So let's do something on the top of the boat. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Okay, let's pin the line on the top. And then we come back to reform this. This is give it a little bit more time, let it drive, and then we can overlay it pretty easy. So I'm gonna mix a little bit brownish color, so brown gray color. So this is good. I already have some blue over here. Mix it into it. This is pretty good. Get a little bit yellow. That will be the color we need. And think about, hmm, that may be still too bright. Get a little bit more blue. I'm gonna just have a little bit more blue in here. So in the mind, even though it's just not really that blue, but you can see that more blue in here, right? So you can take that color Mix that in, that will become the color you need. Okay, there, here we go. Maybe a little bit tiny more blue, okay. And to think about, don't make it too dark, right? Get a little bit more yellow in here. That's good. All right, let's go into, think about what is the biggest line and then focus on that first. And that's one line over here. And look at it again, that's good. I'm gonna paint the important line. Okay, a little bit more important. 
here, coming down over here. Here you go. Stop that. That's as good. And almost at the order, the line the same color. Okay, coming down right here. That's as good. Okay. And maybe a little bit tiny, tiny lighter, a little bit more orange. This could be a little bit too dark, a little bit red. Just a little bit tiny red. This is good. Okay, here we go. Continue. I'm going to have this line all the way coming onto this side. Okay, let's take a look. This line. Like that. And then from here to there, it's one angular line. Okay, all the way here. That's good. And then we're going to put the line right in the middle. Almost the middle. Look at it. And is that, what's the angle coming down? Like this. Okay. That's good. Hoo -hoo. Pretty interesting. Getting. And there's another line over here. It actually appears to be a little bit darker, but it's okay. You can make it the same color. And a little bit color over here. I think this can be it's a little bit more tiny, tiny more blue like that on this side. And have this all the way coming here. And coming over here. This is pretty good. And I have a little bit of line. Have it. You can have it. A little bit different angle. So that's just good. Getting there. Be patient. Okay. A little bit line coming down like this. That's just good. A little line over here. A little line over there. Okay. This is a very thin line. And you get a little bit thin line. Coming down. That's just good. And have a little line over here too. Kind of interesting. Right over here. Like that. And this side, a little bit more shadow shape of that. That's good. Have a little bit board over here too. So getting there, it's getting pretty interesting already. I'm going to use the same color consistent going through the rest of there. Okay, let's take a look. Have a little bit shape over here going over. And then here you go. From here, this line and all the way coming over here. Okay, all the way coming over here. This is fine. And it gets a little bit lighter and lighter into the distance. So this is fine. I'm going to have this, make it dead, a little bit bigger. And also get this a little bit darker, maybe. This get a little bit darker. That's good. And, and I see that there's some shape on this side. Even darker. If you want to get a little bit tiny, tiny more blue, it will look a lot darker, also cooler. Okay, here we go. Like that. That's good. Wonderful. That's good. Okay, we can also paint. Uh, let's see. We can leave the bow alone. We can do that a little bit later. Okay, like that. A little bit darker. And this part also a little bit darker. And I can see a little bit more line on this side. That's they're not so dark. Okay, here we go. Now analyze it. There's a little line coming over here too. Okay. Now while you're having the fun over here, and the boat's getting more and more stable, and then you come back to do that soon. So be patient. Okay, aware of the timing. That will be fine. Okay. Now I'm going to come into add a little bit yellow and the red. Right, and you have it over here, a little bit more red. And here you go. Now, get a little bit more lighter and warmer. When it's closer, I'm going to clean up some of the paint. My brush has quite a bit of blue. So clean it out, and before you uh, take this color. So this is good. I have this line over here already. So I'm going to have another line from here all the way over here like that all the way longer and look at it look at it before you analyze and before you turn it into your picture and another line coming over here 
Yeah, right. There's a little bit angular line coming here. Angular line. Okay. Let's just get it's a quite a bit of line. Very messy. And but try to analyze it, find out the connection, the logic into that a few line over here. Yeah, this is pretty good already. Look at it. Is that enough? Okay, I think this is pretty enough. So I'm gonna have some a little bit yellow and the red and I have another line and going off to uh, to the right hand side so get a little bit tiny tiny more a little bit lighter brighter I'm gonna have this line from here see that from here all the way over here okay here you go that's a little bit lighter okay here we like that that like that that line get a little bit smaller and smaller and then a little bit line over here too and a little line over here like that. And here you go. A few small line over here. This is good. A little line there. Yeah, this is good. And a little line coming this way. On top of that, that's in front of this. And I have a couple more line. And this is good. And take a look at the bottom over here. I think this is pretty good over here. We need one more line vertical. And this line can be just a little bit tiny more darker. Yeah, have this line all the way. Okay, rotate the brush using this side a little bit sharper. Yeah, like this. Very good. A little bit line. That's good. Another line coming up. That's is pretty good. I have lots of line on the top over there. Since we have the brown color, why don't we just also put the a little bit brown color on the bow to make it feel rusted. Okay, you want to get that a little bit more yellow in here, a little bit brighter brown color. Now take a look at this one. I'm going to have this and a little bit color over here. And take a look when we come back to soften that. And here you go. A little bit more. It's just like a little bit darker than the orange color. That's it. Right. And have a little bit over here. A little bit over there. Now I'm going to use the water. Just soften it. Here we go. Like that. And in the middle, make it a little bit tiny darker. And use the water to soften that coming down. Okay, a little bit on this side, it could be a little bit more, a little bit more, like that, that's good. I'm going to have a few lines like this. Okay, this is good. A little bit softer. Very simple, easy. And that's good, all the way coming down. And we can have also a little bit. I think it's just a little bit too much. I'm going to have this a little bit softer. You don't have to make that much rusting. And I'm going to have a little bit darker. And just the red and the blue color. And I have somewhere in the middle. A little bit darker for the rusted. A little bit more red. A little bit more blue. Here you go. And maybe on the red side. A little bit more. Okay, here we go. Like that. I'm going to have that a little bit over here. And... Have it in and a little bit tiny over here. You see that? That's very simple and easy on this side. Don't have that much dark. Now I'm going to have the another round on the uh, body of the boat. I'm going to take a little bit yellow over here. Here we go. Get a little bit blue. Okay, mix that in. This is good. Another round is think about. Oh, there's a little bit more blue in the green. In that case, get a little bit more blue. Here you go. Like this. That's just pretty good. I'm going to put that right over here. I'm going to paint it onto the, the other side. Now, this side already completely dry. So, pretty easy. Just overlay on it. On the other side, I'm going to make it even darker in a bit. And here you go. I can leave that little gap and for the middle over there. That's good. Coming through over here. This is good. I can paint on over this line. And having that onto this side. This is good. Like that. Now, after the second round, the color look a lot smoother. And also, of course, a little bit darker. And also down over here, have a little bit darker. A little bit blue. 
right? And I'm going to use the brush this way. So I'm going to have this a little bit darker and the color gradually going a little bit like that up like this, create a form suggestions for the boat. That's is good. Now this round, much better. Now you see the boat, very easy, interesting. So no matter what happens to your painting, okay? And you don't need to panic. Never panic. Panic is not a good thing. Now I'm going to make this a little bit later. Okay, that's good. That's good. Make it a little bit tiny, feel a little bit more light. Coming over here, but light it up. So now is a good time. So just add a little bit gray color into that light shape. Okay, here you go. Now it a little bit more, push a little bit more, uh, less uh, obvious, uh, less intense. Now continue down over here. Now I'm going to make that very dark color. Okay. Here you go. A lot darker. I got the blue and the red color. Now this color is not that dilute. Okay, not that much water. So I'm going to have it over here on the shadow side. Okay, coming down. That's good. And here we go. Now I'm going to have this a little bit darker. And here you go. The bottom of the boat. Also pretty dark. Here we go. I'm going to have this softly, let it coming up a little bit and coming over here and lift up the brush a little bit. Okay, that's good. A little bit parked up the boat over here. There's a little bit shape and all the way to the bottom of the boat like that. That's just beautiful. You see that? The form already created it. Okay, this is good. Use the this dark color also here. I'm gonna have this look at the angle. Okay, here we go. Like look at that. Coming around on the other side. Perfect. And over here. It's not really that dark, so I'm gonna actually using a little bit lighter. I'm gonna let go some of the blue and the dark red color. Now I'm going to just use a little bit less dark. Okay, it makes that two color, a little bit gray color. And yeah, right in here, wrap around. You see that turning around to the other side like that. That's just good. A little bit more. And have a little bit dirty on the other side. That's good. A little bit darker over here too. Okay, this is good. Now is the good time for put a little... Uh, color over here, make it feel a little bit dirty over here. That's just good. And now um, I can put a little, little bit shape for the shadow of this small shape like that. Put over here and coming over just a little suggestion. That's good enough. And take a look at the top over here. Can okay. And the window. Okay, take a look at a little window. So I'm going to put that. So your eye, your mind always kind of rotating through the painting. So, okay, you never stick to only one section, only one area. So that's very important to make the whole painting more cohesive and connected. That's good. A little bit darker over here too. And the brown color over there can be a little bit darker. Now getting a little bit more more interesting. Okay. And now I'm going to make this a little bit softer on the top over here. Now I'm going to come to paint the little object, the girl on the side. Okay. That's first thing I'm going to paint the, the little brown color. Okay. And yeah, not really just standing out, just a little brown color. Start from the head to the arm to the legs, okay, like that. Okay, shape the brush. Now let's take a look where you're going to put her over there. That's the head a little bit lower than the tip over there. And right there, that's good. Look like she is kind of come up. Okay, okay, here you go. That's the head. 
and the arm coming the shoulder over here. Now skip that all the way coming to the leg to see how much space we have. It's right on the beach over here, to right there. This is good. Yeah, okay, I like that. Just a little line. You maybe need to get a little bit more brown orange color. So I'm gonna get a little bit more red. Mix it into this color. Okay, that's good. That's the this shape for the leg, for this leg. Push it down a little bit. Okay, that's good. Maybe that's too much. So a little bit more, a little bit less. Okay, that's just there. That's good. Also have a little bit of reflection. Okay, that's good. Now look at look at the arm over here. And the front of the body. Okay, a little bit more. Like that. This is good. Give a little bit more for the head. Okay, this is good. All about suggestions. Okay. Right now, I need to give a tiny a little bit more uh blueish color for the front for the body over here here we go okay like that the shadow like that that's good and have a little bit reflection tiny tiny reflection okay here you go like that and a little bit reflection over here okay very simple that's good and that's good. Like that, we can come back to, uh, if we need to, come back to give a little bit, tiny more. But this is pretty good suggestion. There's a person over there even more forward. I like that. Okay, let's come back to the boat over here to see anything else. And now it's getting more drive already. So if we want to make this a little bit more separated, um, we can have a little bit more darker line over here. Here you go. A little bit darker line in here, coming from here, like that. Here we go. Uh, getting like the uh, wrap paper more and more, and it can make our painting more. Uh, Expressive. Uh, I really like that a lot better. Now, most of the time I use the cold press. Okay, it's a little bit less uh, texture. Uh, not as strong. Okay, this is pretty good. Now, and the top, and it's a good time to get a little bit tiny blue. Have this, this piece wood, a little bit clear this is good a little bit more clear the front over here like that and I can light up a little bit tiny more over here just use the brush and turn it into like a small flat brush by lift up a tiny a little bit more so you can see a little bit more contrast between the light and the shadow side okay this is good and I think this is getting pretty good. The top over here, I still want to have a little bit more orange color. I just get a little bit orange, the yellow and a tiny little red. I'm going to have a little orange right at the top up here. You can see that? That's a little bit more. That's just good. A little bit orange color. Like that. That's good. A little bit warmer. That's good. Now I can use the water to softly lift the color down. Maybe a little bit more exaggerated, but I think this is pretty good. And if anything else, and make some little bit stronger details. So I'm gonna have maybe a few dots over here, maybe a little bit more over here, like that. A little bit over here, and see maybe the rust over here a little bit darker and the window over here and just take a look is there anything else that's the last thing 
and also actually I see a little bit more brown color a little bit rusted color over down over here too yeah and we already have enough green color so it's just put the red it will be fine like that and maybe over here like this give a little bit more maybe over here too okay like that okay maybe one more retouch that would be the beach i'm gonna make this a little bit more a cohesive movement okay there we go i'm gonna just get a little bit blue and the beach is already all already dry so it's pretty simple just get a little bit red and the blue now here we go i'm gonna have this color more coming up over here like that here we go a little bit more cohesive organizing the movement like that coming up that's good also a little bit coming over here you can use the large brush for this and a little bit more coming into the shape over there that's good that's good i'm gonna have something a little bit more texture coming up that's good and now lead the tension onto the boat a lot better this way that's good a little bit softer all right very good and up over here maybe just a little bit tiny tiny more red on uh, the top over here okay maybe a little bit tiny tiny more yellow okay right over there to make it more as a reflect as echoing the sky okay, that's good like that all right and now the painting is completed if you also like oil painting you can see how i paint this in another youtube channel the link in the description i will see you in my next video